I understand you're in a bit of bother again today, young man. You're still not prepared to give me any names. You're just going to have to let us stand up to them. This should keep you out of trouble. This is your Christmas from your dad and me. Maybe it'll make up for. You know. Merry Christmas. service six minutes from Dobby's load. Then it'll only be twelve minutes before you're back with the right one. Hi there, how can I help you? Hi. Bye. Hey. This batch give you the wrong parcel. Okay, so what you do is you wait for her to go off on her lunch, then you nip back in, get them to sign for it before you hand it over, then this batch can sort out their own mess. I'm Malcolm McGovern. Graham Aubrey. Yeah, I know who you are. I'm a big cycling fan. Make it 300, you've got a deal. Look, son, you've gone bust. Make your mind up, it's either 200 or nothing. Okay, 200 it is. I'm sorry, I'm better off going up the road. Oh, what was this antique? <laughs> right, um, what can I do for you? Well, I need a new... 
An old crank? Um, I don't think so, but let's see. Tell me. Uh, I'm afraid I don't follow cycling. I had him, though. Boatman. He's good, isn't he? Aye. He's always the man to beat. He still is the bugger. Right. Ah, these young boys. All bright ideas, but they can't stand a pace, eh? You mind if I deliver that one myself? I haven't got time, son. I've got a buyer coming to the yard. That's OK. Be there before you do. Are you trying to be funny? Tell you what. You get there before me, you can keep the 200. I get there before you, I get the other 100 I wanted. This gentleman here can hold the cash. If you've no objection. There before. That's gonna cost 300 to repair the van. You could have killed him, man. Ah, it's all right. I would have won anyway if you hadn't I cheated. You weren't perfect yourself, son. Anyway, you have to grab your chance and trust to the Lord. <laughs> when it comes to religion, Karl Marx got it right. I'll find a crank for you. Drop by sometime next week. And um, we're in the flat above the shop. Mr. Baxter. Douglas Baxter. So what are you doing with this lot? Putting food on the table and paying the odd bill. <laughs> but you're famous. You still hold the British one hour record. But I've got to make a living like everybody else. I'm a sandwich. Mm. Cheers. But all the same. Oh, Jesus. What have you got in there? Is that marmalade? Enough sugar to keep you going all day. Aye, but it tastes horrible. At least for breakfast, I'm up the road in no time. That's 30 miles away. 32 and a half. And if you're not going to eat that, I'll have it back. What about Chris Boardman then? He's going for the world one hour later this year. But then again, that record hasn't stood for nine years for nothing, has it? You've been head to head a few times with Boardman, haven't you? You think you can do it? If anyone can do it, God can. Right, time's up. Problem. On you go, I'll catch you up. There's something wrong. I can fix it, I'm good at that stuff. No, there's no problem. Just got an idea. <laughs> On you go. You're wasting a good head start.
hanging out with Graham, I see. He's inside. You want fish and chips? I'm a pickle. This is Katie. Hiya. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, definitely got something. Come. <laughs> Is that her bike? Oh no, she just borrows it off her granny at the weekends. Where are we off to now? You'll be okay. So, Katie's a biker, eh? Suppose she's got tattoos and all that stuff. Bikers are into that kind of thing, aren't they? Then again, I suppose she's got a hell's angel for a boyfriend. I just dropped by and I was wondering if you'd found that new crank for me. What's it? And you dropped a few bits and pieces when you took off like that. Look, it's a project for a new biking building and it's not really stealing because it's a few it's days in there. We were not ready to just the guns. Any idea? Who's this? It's Malky. Malky McGovern. What new bike? Why do skiers crouch like this? Better aerodynamics. Exactly. So why not for cycling too? I tried reversing the handlebars, but after about 20 miles or so, realised it's not enough. Gotta go the whole way, build a new bike, forget all the rules, start from scratch. But to what end? Break the world one hour record. Which stands it? 51 and a bit kilometres, 32 miles more or less. Well, nobody can accuse you of thinking small. But hold it, hold it. Before we all get carried away here, even if you could do it, this kind of thing takes lots of money. First, there's the money to build the bike. Then you need to find a world standard velodrome, which we don't have around here, and pay for that, including all the timekeepers and okay. all that. You got the job. What job? Well, Anne used to be my manager before, but... She's got enough on her plate as it is. You can take over. Well, where do you plan to build this bike? Well, I haven't got that far yet, but... tendency to hoard. So, anything you can use, go ahead. This is fantastic. Prost! To a new world record. To a new world record. Eight weeks from now. Oh, wait a minute. What do you mean, eight weeks from now? Your man Boardman's going for it in nine weeks. Well then, let's do it in eight. Leave it in the shed for you. 
I didn't know you were at the high tech. Make doing men. That's the Aubrey approach. Oh, you must be a killer. Going at that rate for an hour. There was another word for it. Francesco Moses set the record. It stood for nine years. Eddie Merckx held it before Moses, said it burned three years off his life. Merckx swore he'd never go through that kind of torture again. And he was the greatest cyclist ever. He won the Tour de France five times. Before him it was Archambault, Baldini and Colby. And Don Cotillo. Our manager's running a bit late, his secretary says, so if you could just wait a few minutes. No problem. Don't I know you from somewhere? No. I don't think so. I'm sure I've seen you. Thanks. Is your routine to find you? Welcome, my man. Are you for a joke? No. Oh, I remember now, you were in here last week. You're not running a personal management company, you're just a delivery boy. No, uh, uh, <laughs> We'll just leave it. Is it about Malky taking over? No, I'm delighted about Malky taking over. I know we need the money. I know I've got to keep on at the hospital. Are you sure this is the right thing to do? Go for the record. Sure. Why not? Because, in spite of all the hassles, things have been quite good recently. I don't want them spoiled. It won't spoil anything. I can handle it. I promise. How did you catch the cycling bug? Oh, same as any other wee boy. I got a bike for Christmas one year. There must be more to it than that. Did you go cycling with your pals? Mm hmm. Oh, better get on. Dressed up like that for? Just walking the streets. <laughs> You're raising sponsorship for Graham. How's it going? Yeah. Well, how much have you got so far? To be honest, mm -hmm. wouldn't pay for these coffees. Go and see this guy. Tell him that Katie sent you. Who is he? Serial parking defender who has seen the light. <laughs> you meet all sorts in my job. It might appeal to him. Can't hurt to try. That's great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Listen, I was thinking. Maybe we could go out and get a drink sometime. A drink? Did you think I'd show you my tattoos if you bought me a drink? 
How can I go out with a man who shaves his legs more than I do? Your bum does not look big in those. That's a sexist remark. What are you going to do about it? Lie down here in your back and close your eyes. How can I resist? Then raise your legs. Right? And pedal. This better lead to something memorable. Now, you see how close they are together, no? No. Bring him back. There you go. Keep going. Yeah. Now, check that. The natural, comfortable way is one banana wide. So, why are pedals made two bananas apart? That's why you got me down here on the floor to my lecture about pedals and bananas. Why? What, what else could we do down here? Are you all right? Yeah. Just got a, a design problem, just trying to figure it out. Oh. Seems like Dark Knight of the Soul to me. Everyone gets a bit down sometimes. Oh, I'm right, sure. Listen! I've got some work next week and I need a cog and wheels type. Fancy give me a hand? Next Saturday. Aye. Good. So you see, Mr Armstrong, cycling is universally popular. Well, not so much in the UK, of course. Why would you want to sponsor Graham? Well, because... He's pretty special, really. I mean, for a Scotsman, that is. And uh, cycling could be a lot more popular if, if he wins, and... Uh, uh, that's about it, really. Francesco Moser, eh? What a man. What a cyclist. With that one-hour record. Pure brilliance. You've got to take your hat off to him. that record been held by a Scotsman? Hey, 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 my God, what a thrill that would be! <laughs> I don't feel a drink, but I must get off. Club out tonight. <sighs> We're going uh, out to the Trossets and back. Uh, Sweet Highland air. <laughs> Rapid employment will be proud to assist such a splendid initiative. How much have you raised already? It's going 
a bit slower than I'd hoped. Nothing, then? Yeah. Excellent. Rapid employment will get all the publicity. Great. Come back tomorrow, same time. We'll talk figures. Right. Thanks. What is it exactly you're doing? How does a washing machine spin at 1200 revolutions a minute? Bearings. Beautiful bearings in their own casing. What does your wife say? She was alright about it. You're a lucky man. You were never married. Oh, I, she died. I'm sorry. Oh, long time ago. So, this, uh, sponsorship deal that Malky has landed. Is it enough? Well, just, um, it'll get us to Norway well before Chris makes his attempt on the record at Bordeaux. And we've got the stadium and the timekeepers for 24 hours. Uh, now, we've got the machine. Okay. Let's hit it for... Now, most of the tubing is actually from BMX bikes. These rear ends are part of an old padlock. And my washing machine? Well, the bearings are in here. But this bit's a uh, part of the washing machine frame. If it's extra strength. So, Ed, uh, you going to go on it? And off we go. What do you think? Well, you're right. Nobody's ever seen anything like that before. Not bad for a first day. Okay, it could have been better, but I'm beginning to get the feel of the bike and that's the main That thing. is the last place we should have been testing a bike. That was stupid. It was the only bloody place. Okay, if there was even a bog standard track within 50 miles of here, fine. Will you just get off my case and do your job? For God's sake, Graham. The bike that Boardman's going on cost half a million to develop and was designed by a computer. So how the hell is that? That thing that's made out of scrap and washing machine parts going to break a record that stood since... Well, since before they were born. What's that for, big man? The circus. Hi. Hi, that's right, son. Let's get one thing straight, Malky. I know what I'm doing here. Maybe it doesn't look like it, but this bike's been built according to the laws of physics. There's a scientific reason for every single bit of design. And that's how I'm going to break the record, with or without you. Graham, he's trying to help you, that's all. Well, I don't need his help. I'll do this on my own.
pilot asked you to keep a blow of harm in this world, still we hope that you will stay by his side in difficult times and give him the strength to rise from despair and self-doubt. Jonathan, I baptize thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You've done a good job, Marky. Couldn't have done it without phoning you twice a day. I need tickets. This one's for me, I'm not coming. Yes, you are. Katie says you and Graham are a team and that's good enough for me. There isn't enough money for the three of us to go to Norway. Yeah, well, I'm paying for myself. Well, okay, I really appreciate it, but I've got no one to go to you then. Katie's going to take some time off. She'll look after him. It's all sorted. Are you still worried about the bike? Yeah. And that's why you have to be there. You see, I've got a contingency plan that Graham doesn't know about. I thought if you knew right away, you might think it was after your soul. And aren't you? Souls are God's business. Mine is people. So, how are you feeling? Under control. Well, the hour is almost at hand. Bring it on. I'm raring to go. Turnout? That's not for me. We're getting ready to announce the World Championships. Oh. Moser's over there. Francesco Moser is over there. He's on the WCF Council now. Who's that with him? I don't know. Some suit. Right. Let's get Old Faithful put together. Give them all a heart attack. Hey, can I talk to you first? What about? Uh, actually, can I show you something? to Mike Burroughs, told him what the situation was, and he said okay, he'd take a crack at it. I didn't know if it's going to be ready in time, that's why I haven't said anything until now. I gave him all the specs, it's exactly the same as Old Faithful. All the ideas that you built into it, but it's the work of a world-class bike builder. And I think you should, you know. What do you think? Well, it's, it's not exactly the same as Old Faithful. Burroughs has used 32 mil, not 16. So it's heavier. Right. The wheels specialised made them. And if you beat the record, they'll sponsor you for a whole year. Just give me a minute, will you? Sure. You knew about this? You always said Mike Burroughs knows what he's doing. Don't use it if you don't want to. My friend, allow me to introduce Hans Hagemann. Hello. You, uh, you did this yourself? No, it was Mike Burroughs. I did the design and uh, put together the original model. Mm. Uh, what was wrong with the original? 
took a bit of battering in the road trial stage, so. Don't worry, conforms to every WCF regulation, I made sure of that. <laughs> Doesn't worry me, Mr. Albright. It would only matter if you were to break Francesco's record. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, clear the track, please. Okay. Okay, Graham, this is it. Set ready. Give me a nod. I'll give you a five second five kilometers. Up. That's 31.7 miles, which is almost exactly the same as the journey from Presswick to Glasgow. But no hills. No traffic, no roundabouts. And when the gun goes off, you're broken the world record. In five, four, three, Two, one, go! I'm going again. Impossible. The WCF must have access. Oh, 24 hours. That was what my manager agreed with the people here. So we've got the stadium till till 10:30 tomorrow morning. But Graham, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> you English are mad. You want to know what mad is? Try calling me English again. I'm a Bavarian. I'm very proud to be called German. But I know your Irish Scots are always fighting. You can't help it, yeah? Okay. What are you doing? You're making sure I exercise every couple of hours to stop my legs seizing up. No alarm clock like a full bladder.
Gotta be on the track in 30 minutes. Where the bloody hell's Malky? We're late. I've rebuilt Old Faithful for you. She's ready if you're ready. Now can you read your tape? should be set. What's wrong with it? He's not dead as well. This is a shambles. Excuse me. He's going for it now. Excuse me. He's going for it now. Thank you. You will cripple yourself. Maybe something even worse than that. Right, you ready? You will at this point. Come away, Graham! Off the car! Come on, Graham! Keep on!
fact, he's messing about it. <laughs> Graham! Congratulations! I see you made the front page. Well, the local paper, anyway. I just wanted to say thank you for your help. Oh, I didn't make much of a contribution. Which would seem to be the way in other cases as well. What do you mean? You remember what Karl Marx said about surplus value? You're looking at it. Apparently the powers at B feel that this town is too small for two congregations, so there's going to be a merger. One of the churches is going to be sold off to a property developer. Agnes, go on. Be with you in a minute. Now, Graham, I've got work to do. Oh, excuse me. Uh, one of my parishioners, uh, her husband's just passed away. She's got a few problems coming. Sorry we're late. Guess who kept going on about keeping inside the speed limit? What? Well, there's plenty of time. <laughs> you can start for another half an hour. So where's Graham? Going oh, for a run. Said he better things to do than watch a non-event. The English rider, Chris Gorman, Great Britain's Olympic champion, is now certain to break the one-hour record so recently established by Graham Aubrey. Here he goes! And how devastating this must be to his arch rival Aubrey. But the world one hour record holder is now an Englishman. Now, some shit like that, eh? Just trying to make a call here. All right, then. So what are you doing back here, then, champ? Just come back to show us, did you? Fuck off. Aye, Anne, it's me. Aye, listen, I've got a puncher. Can Marky come and pick me up? No. Yeah. Marky. Aye, yeah, I'm back in the valley of the damned, the pub in the main street. Listen, what did Boardman do? 700 metres more. It's more than the margin I beat Moses' record. Right, I'll yeah, see you then. Okay. What the fuck do you want? See? Well, yes. Thinks he's the big man now, eh? I can remember what we used to be um. Yeah. You made my life hell. You're proud of that. Come on, Graham, eh? It's just a bit of fun, mate. That's all. You ain't shit! You're dancing bastards! Fuck off! 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 F
watched take a good fucking look at me. Because this is the closest you'll ever get to anything worthwhile. Okay, it's a pain in the arse, but this is what I was thinking. We book Hammer again for, say, the end of the year, after the specialised money's run out. Then we announce you're going for Boardman's record. We get plenty of people to sponsor you then. We'll get them to make bids. No. We'll be lining up around the block. The man from nowhere returns. The flying Scotsman rides again. No. I'm going to go for the worlds. But you don't do that kind of racing. Not in the four kilometre sprint. You're a long distance man. 51 kilometres or four, it's still what I do. Yeah. Well, right enough I suppose. 12 months to get ready for it. I'm going for it this year. No, that's... That's totally impossible. You've only got five weeks. That's fine. Pressure works for me. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Holt. As you know, the annual bring and buy sale is going to take place in four weeks. Right. You have to be impressed that Norris Aubrey has even made it into the semi-finals of the World Championship. But of course, Bormann's the clear favourite. His half million pound computer designed carbon fibre superbike that he rode to gold medal in the Olympics. Two runners chase each other from opposite sides of the track for 16 laps. 4,000 metres of agony. The Christian band who are really rocking with the Lord. Please forgive that short pause. I get quite excited by the prospect of the annual bring and buy sale. He's beaten other semi finalist Chris Corbin by 2.384 seconds. Congratulations, Ben. Awesome ride. But you need a better helmet. Here, use mine for the final. And the best of luck. Thanks. Another world record, and you're world champion.
Bien. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you jump, but the reception stuck. And don't we look like a couple of swells? Listen, Malky. I know Anne's told you about me. I could. I wish you could downstairs, Dave. I just get really down sometimes, and then I tell myself, get a grip, man, and I pull myself out of it. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with me, you know. Exhibition rides in France, money up front, accommodation for all of us. That's what he said. Everything for the new champion. And we can go in our new car. What's wrong with the one we got? Have you actually looked at it? This time we get something a bit better. <laughs> Vous avez tenté de battre le record de l'heure, eh bien nous aurions voulu que vous ne vous arrêtiez jamais. When you try to beat the record of the one hour, we all wanted you not to stop ever, to continue for always. <laughs> Et si vous aviez construit des yeux pour votre bicyclette, je suis sûr que vous auriez eu des yeux pour votre bicyclette. Why not? We deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> but how can manufacturers persuade people to buy the right bikes when a washing machine on wheels can break records? Is he cheating? Drugs, perhaps? No, you can forget that. He takes nothing. We even tested one of his sandwiches. Just oranges and sugar. But, you know, I loathe seeing him ride. His position is so, uh, grotesque, so ugly. And unstable. He fell off last week. Oh, yeah? He fell off. We have come to the conclusion that the uh, riding uh, technique of Herr Aubrey could cause him to hurt himself. Especially if he were to fall from his machine at high speed. And not only that, such an accident could cause serious injury to other cyclists. It has uh, therefore been agreed that the riding um, position of Herr Aubrey will not be allowed under W. Please let me finish under WCF rules. Thank you very much. It's unsafe. I've only ever fallen once, and you know, it's no miracle machine either. Otherwise, I'd win every race. No way. The bike meets all the WCS regulations, so now they're just making up new ones. Okay, I'm going. You know, you don't need to work. <laughs> what am I supposed to do when you're away on tour with all your cyclone groupies? I wish. Oh, do you know? The way things are going, I'll be spending a lot more time at home. Hagerman and his pals are really out to get me. Well, you're a threat. You got to the top the wrong way. A few more like you and those people won't be running things anymore. No more gravy train. And that's what makes me so angry. Well, that's healthier than being depressed. 
You'll find ways to get one up on them. Now, because of the WCF's concerns about safety, I've made a few modifications. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the new ultra safe Aubrey bike. <laughs> <laughs> Stand back, stand back. <laughs> we must not allow him to make fools of us. But every time we change the rules, he changes his bike to comply. Yeah, then you try again. <laughs> That's as far back as it'll go. Eh? Great. Your bike contravenes the regulations. Saddles must be five centimetres behind the centre line of the bottom bracket. I say, you inspected the bike yesterday. You okay it? Five centimetres. All saddles must be complete and intact, Mr. Aubrey. If I use this, first thing I ever designed. It must be possible to purchase all parts in the commercial market. That's just not true. All the top cyclists have their bikes personally made for them. They would cost thousands to buy in a shop. Uh, yes, but uh, if you had thousands, you could buy it. That is the point. The changes I had to make to the handlebars mean it's very difficult for me to get into position on a commercial saddle because they're so big. There is no rule about the design of a saddle. Well, it, um, it doesn't break the uh, letter of the rules, but it breaks the spirit of the rules. The spirit of the rules. Exactly. The spirit. from a 12-year-old mountain bike, so we're not breaking any rules. Time. Who's this? Bastards. Hagen and Justin invented a new rule. There has to be a gap between the rider's chest and his hands. A gap? How much? We won't quantify it. Is it strange that I'm the only one who rides with his chest on his hands? Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you what the new rule is. Nobody called Graham Aubrey is allowed to win the World Championships. Here's what we're going to do. We'll replace it with the tri-bars. They can't object to that. You can get down low enough on these and you'll still win. No. I'm sticking with Old Faithful the way she is. You'll be out of the championship. I won doing it my way, I'll lose it doing it my way. What's that supposed to mean? That's a load of bollocks, Graham, and you know it. Look, I'm your manager, right? It's my job to organise things so that you win. And I'm asking you to use these bars and just go out there and give it the Aubrey magic. Graham, it's your only chance. Doing it my way, Malky, win, lose, or get disqualified. To hell with you then. So, a red flag will be raised by an official if his chest touches his hands. Three red flags and he's out. <laughs> Oh, 
了一帮老虎大哥的光，他们只想挣钱，过不了关。Graham Aubrey is now an ex-world champion. Graham. Here, can you take this stuff with you next time you go to see Anne? Oh, take it yourself. It's got nothing to do with me. For God's sake, Katie, it's got nothing to do with me either. I'm not his manager anymore. I'm short of that pig-headed, bloody-minded pain in the ass, which means I cannot care less about any of this. You still read it all, though, don't you? And listen, if you think that you can shout at me like that, then it's time you moved back to your own flat and sorted yourself out. Aubrey has fallen and it's a bad one. They've broken him. Only one more flag and the World Champions Championship will be over. Aubrey has fallen and it's a bad one. They've broken him. Graham Aubrey is now a Thing is, mate, all boys not coming back. Cause he died inside. You just couldn't take it. You did make something out of yourself, Graham, eh? For a bit there, eh? I can see you hiding there. You're good at hiding and running away. You're still a wee shit. Running away, I still think you're too good for us. That's all you ever do on that bike of yours, eh? Run away. No wonder you're a champion. See all that stuff we done here? That was just because of your dad. You do know that, eh? But you're not really a hero. Are you, Graham? You're still a wee shite. You're a nothing, mate. And you still think you're too good for us? You are nobody. You're pathetic.
Understand me. The back as soon as I can, just lie there and take it easy, alright? Wait, you're an ambulance. Graham, this can't go on. We have to do something. It's all right. I'm okay. No. You're not okay. Hey. This is an ex-world champion you're talking to. So many people can say that. Graham, you need help. I told you before. I sought myself out. And in my own time. That'll make a great effort. Working hard, you should rest when you come in, you know. Especially since you're paying the bills these days. Have you been a good boy? Yeah, we both have. Mm-hmm. I phoned the courier people. Starting on Monday. It's only a month's contract, but at least it's something. Back to square one, eh? Dear Mr. Aubrey, the track at Hammer Stadium in Norway is being resurfaced. In recognition of your historic cycling achievements at the stadium, breaking the one hour record and smashing the world record to become world pursuit champion, we hope you will accept this piece of the old track as a souvenir of your wonderful triumph. It has been a pleasure writing to you with this news and I wish you the very best for your future. Your sincerely, Berger Olsen? Delivery for you. Needs a signature. I'll get my glasses. Come in. Look, I'm not stupid. What's this in need of? 
If I suggested we get together, what would you have said? What's going on? I told you. I'll be leaving at the end of the month. Pete. I'm going up north. Some friends of mine from the Merchant Navy have got me a job teaching disturbed kids how to sail a boat. Well, is that what I am? Disturbed kid? I, uh, was going to tell you about her. Your wife? Ah. What happened to her? She drowned. I was 39 when I met her. I left the Merchant Navy and I was studying for the ministry in Australia and one summer's morning down by Sydney Harbour I saw this young woman not much more than half my age and oh boy I felt as if I was struck by lightning. All I knew was I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. Amazingly she felt the same way. We only had three short years together, that's all. And you said she drowned. Was it an accident? Oh! She could swim like a fish. She killed herself, Graham. She had the same illness as you. She couldn't take it anymore. Said it was like being in a swamp. Alone in the darkness, slowly being sucked down inch by inch, the life squeezed out of her. And knowing that nobody was ever going to come and save her, because nobody knew she was even there. You see, there were things in her life, in her childhood, she would just would not talk about. I thought maybe, maybe if we had a bit more time together, I could have done something. We can talk about it. What's the point in talking about it? Have you ever talked about it before? So, why do you think there's no point? Made me feel uh, worthless. Like I don't know, there's nothing. There's something to be used. Who's there, Graham? It's all right, yeah. it's all right. It's like your first time on a bike. Just keep going. You'll be fine. Are you going to talk to him again? Probably. Although he says I should see a professional therapist. What do you think? Maybe you could fix me up with someone at the hospital. Yeah, I could.
Malachi called tonight. Yeah? What was he saying? Just wanted to chat. It's funny, I was thinking I should give him a call. Yeah? Hmm. See what he thinks about going in for some wee events. Nothing serious, just a toe in the water. Hmm.
champion. You would have liked him. Graham Obrey is surely Scotland's all-time hero. 